Hello, little ones. I'm so excited to take you on a dinosaur adventure today. We're going to meet lots of amazing dinosaur friends. They lived a long, long time ago, but now we can learn all about them. We'll see big dinosaurs, small dinosaurs, and even flying dinosaurs. Look at all these amazing dinosaurs around us. Can you see them? There are so many different kinds. Some are very big, and some are small. Some eat plants, and some eat meat. But all of them are special in their own way. Let's start our adventure and meet our first dinosaur friend. Are you ready to learn about these incredible creatures that lived long, long ago? Oh, wow. Look who's coming. It's the mighty T-Rex. Can you say T-Rex? Can you say T-Rex? The T-Rex is one of the biggest meat-eating dinosaurs. See how big its teeth are. The T-Rex has a big head and a long tail to help it balance. Look at its tiny arms. They might look funny, but they were still very strong. Can you roar like a T-Rex? Let's all try together. Our roar. Now, let's meet the Triceratops. Can you count its horns? One, two, three. The Triceratops was a plant eater. See how it's munching on those leaves? Yum yum. It had a beak like a parrot to help it eat tough plants. The Triceratops was very big, almost as big as an elephant. Can you pretend to be a Triceratops and munch on some leaves? Chomp, 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 chomp. Oh my, look up high. It's the Brachiosaurus. Can you see its super long neck? The Brachiosaurus was one of the tallest dinosaurs ever. Its long neck helped it reach leaves at the very top of the trees. It was as tall as a four-story building. The Brachiosaurus ate plants too. It had to eat a lot of food every day to fill its big tummy. Its name means arm lizard because its front legs were longer than its back legs. Can you stretch up tall like a Brachiosaurus? Reach for the sky. Look over there. It's the Stegosaurus. Can you see the row of big bony plates on its back? Those plates made the Stegosaurus look very special. Scientists think these plates might have helped the Stegosaurus stay warm or cool off when it was hot. Even though it looks tough, the Stegosaurus was a gentle plant eater. It liked to munch on low-growing plants with its small, beaky mouth. Let's count the plates on its back together. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, look how fast that little dinosaur is running. That's the Velociraptor. The Velociraptor was a meat eater, but it was much smaller than the T-Rex. It had sharp claws and teeth to help it catch its food. Some scientists think it might have had feathers, just like a bird. Isn't that amazing? Can you run in place really fast like a Velociraptor? Look up in the sky. What's that flying dinosaur? It's the Pteranodon. The Pteranodon had a long pointy head with no teeth. It used its beak to catch fish from the sea. Imagine seeing these amazing creatures soaring through the sky long, long ago. They must have looked like big, scaly birds. Let's all flap our arms like pteranodon wings. Oh, here comes a dinosaur that looks like a tank. It's the Ankylosaurus. The Ankylosaurus had lots of bony armor all over its body. Can you see the big club at the end of its tail? The Ankylosaurus was a plant eater. It had a wide body and a small head. Its name means fused lizard because its bones were fused together to make it strong. The Ankylosaurus was very heavy, as heavy as a big truck. Can you pretend to be an Ankylosaurus and walk very slowly? Wow, look at that big sail on that dinosaur's back. That's the Spinosaurus. The Spinosaurus was even bigger than the T-Rex. The Spinosaurus loved to eat fish. It spent a lot of time in the water, like a crocodile. It had long, strong arms and big claws that helped it catch slippery fish. The Spinosaurus was one of the biggest meat-eating dinosaurs ever. Can you make a big sail shape with your arms over your head? Listen, can you hear that trumpet-like sound? That's the Parasaurolophus. Can you say Parasaurolophus? It's a long name for a dinosaur with a long head crest. Scientists think it used its crest to make sounds like a trumpet. The Parasaurolophus was a plant eater. It walked on two legs and four legs. It had a beak-like mouth that was great for eating tough plants. The Parasaurolophus lived in groups, just like how you have friends to play with. Let's all make a trumpet sound like a Parasaurolophus. Oh my, here comes another big meat eater. It's the Allosaurus. 
The Allosaurus was almost as big as the T-Rex. Its name means different lizard. Can you see its sharp teeth? The Allosaurus had strong legs and a long, powerful tail that helped it balance. It had big, sharp claws on its hands to grab its food. The Allosaurus was one of the top predators of its time, which means it was very good at hunting. Can you show me your scariest Allosaurus face? Wow, look at that long tail. It's the Diplodocus. The Diplodocus had one of the longest tails of any dinosaur. Its tail was so long, it looked like a whip. The Diplodocus used its long neck to reach plants on the ground and in trees. The Diplodocus was one of the longest dinosaurs ever. Can you stretch out your arms as wide as you can to show how long the Diplodocus was? Look at those horns. It's the Carnotaurus. Carnotaurus means meat-eating bull because of its bull-like horns. Can you point to your head where the Carnotaurus horns are? The Carnotaurus had very small arms, even smaller than the T-Rex. But it had strong legs that helped it run very fast. Its head was short and deep, with sharp teeth for eating meat. The Carnotaurus was a fierce but fascinating dinosaur. Let's all stump our feet like a Carnotaurus running. Here comes a dinosaur with a special thumb. It's the Iguanodon. The Iguanodon was a plant eater that could walk on two legs or four legs. The Iguanodon had a spike on its thumb that looked a bit like a thumb pointing up. Can you give a thumbs up like the Iguanodon? Good job. It had a beak-like mouth for eating tough plants and flat teeth at the back of its mouth for grinding food. The Iguanodon was one of the first dinosaurs that scientists learned about. Isn't that exciting? Let's all walk like an Iguanodon, sometimes on two legs, sometimes on four. Wow. We've met so many amazing dinosaurs today. We saw big ones like the T-Rex and Brachiosaurus, and small ones like the Velociraptor. Some ate meat, and some ate plants. Some could even fly. Dinosaurs were incredible creatures, and now you know all about them. It's sad that dinosaurs aren't around anymore, but we can still learn about them and imagine how they lived. Thank you for joining our dino adventure, little ones. Remember, there's always more to learn, so keep watching and discovering.